Hello and welcome to day five of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today I'm going to focus on journaling and we're just going to have a discussion about what journaling is and the benefits of journaling for you. Again, this is a topic that may not be for everybody, but it's a different type of technique and something that you can try out and see what benefits you gain from it. I always think that journaling is really good to drill down on the um, worry that you have. It helps to get the concern out of your mind and onto a piece of paper. And it helps you to come up with your own solutions and sometimes realise that the problem that you had at the beginning isn't necessarily the issue or the worry that you have at the end. And sometimes it ends up being a full circle that it just reassures you that actually it wasn't something to worry about in the first instance. So there's different ways of journaling. You can um, buy a journal um, that can guide you through um, a, a guided journaling experience where they ask you questions and you answer the questions. The second way is just to write a diary extract. That's absolutely fine and that is a, a different style of journaling that some people feel very comfortable with and may have done for years. So um, you can write a diary. The third thing is a little bit more, um, I want to say slightly more complex, but has a different type of benefit to it. And that's just to get a blank piece of paper to write down your concern across the top. And it may be something quite a large concern, such as um, going back to work after you've had treatment for your cancer. You write the title at the top of your page and then you ask yourself continuously why you're feeling like that. And then you write down the answer. When you've written down the answer, it may be that you're concerned um, that yours, you won't manage so well at work because of your fatigue, that you're, you're, you're still experiencing a long-term side effect. And then you can ask yourself why again. And you just keep asking yourself why, and you keep asking yourself why. And eventually, it may be that you drill down far enough that you either come up with a solution that you need um, somebody to help you with, um, say, your side effect of fatigue, that you need to speak to your health professional to find some basic coping strategies and to get some reassurance. Or it might be that um, you need to speak to somebody at work that may be able to support you or talk to, you, to, to your um, colleagues about some of the side effects that you will have been experiencing. So um, quite often you end up with a solution with more clarity around the subject and sometimes um, a reduction in the anxiety that you're feeling because you've discussed it with yourself and you've asked yourself why you're feeling like it. It's a really good practice to get into if you are worried about something. And it, as I say, it gives you clarity around the subject um, and helps you to come up with some of the solutions yourself and work out what really is bothering you um, at the heart of your worry, which may not be what you thought it was at the beginning. So have a go, try some journaling, work out what your problems are and help yourself to come up with some of the solutions. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.